Hey, what's up everyone? Um, yesterday I went to a shop to buy a new fragrance. Um, I was just motivated to buy something. I was not sure which one it will be. And yeah, um, I have decided to buy this one here. Um, I tried it on and yeah, it is called Azaro the Most Wanted. Um, so if you don't know this line, there have been I think four fragrances with this one. Like there was the original Azaro Wanted, which I never really liked that much. It was like very, 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 very synthetic and super sweet. Uh, to me, it always came across like a sweeter, less aquatic version of Invictus by Paco Rabanne. And it was just too much for my nose. It smells definitely good, especially when people wear it in the air. But it was never a buying candidate for me because it was just always replaced by better fragrances, in my opinion. So then there was uh, uh, Asaru Wanted by Night, which I already bought once, but I returned it uh, uh, because I decided um, after trying it again in the store that it's also easily replaceable by better fragrances. So this was also not... This also didn't make it in my collection. And there then there was, I think, Azaru Wanted Tonic, if I'm not wrong right now, which was basically wanted to my nose, uh, just a little bit fresher. Um, so it just, just went over my head, so I was not caring too much. And this finally, the most wanted one, what I think about it and why I bought it, I will um, tell you later in a different video. Uh, this video I want to talk about just, it's it will be just a little, um, not too serious video. Um, I got um, four samples here. To be fair with, with, with you, I smelled all of them already, but I will just smell them again nevertheless uh and give you my impression what what i think in this moment by them the first one i got was a superstar classic from the 1990s i think it was released back in back then for the first time it is jean paul gautier uh, le mal in the just normal eau de toilette version so this is very well known to me but um still i will you know maybe maybe some Maybe it, maybe the batch variation stroke also there. Let's see. Um, I will not spray it on the skin because I uh, I have four of them and they some some of them are very different and I think it would be a bit clawing to survive it through the day with it. So I'm just gonna spray it in that card here. Oh wow, that was an immediate spray. So. Let's shake it a little bit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the classical pow powdery scent. I used to know, and I still love it, to be honest. I never understood why people hate it. However, of course, um, it has been worn so many times by so many men in so many, probably dating and club situations there's like the saying if you buy this one and wear it to a date you will probably smell like the ex of that woman i don't know i have never worn it to a first date but yeah same same fragrance to my nose of course i don't know how the longevity is right now i never had longevity issues to be fair like i have three bottles i think and i also one of those three bottles is a vintage one from from uh from when it was released and i i couldn't i cannot tell much of a difference maybe it's a bit longer lasting but that's it so there's no difference to my nose um i think there's a lot of talking when it comes to to reformulations and i think people give that too much imp uh, too much importance so yeah amazing still one of the best designer fragrances out there in my opinion definitely worth checking out especially because it's super cheap um you can get it for a very good price so yeah in the designer world an easy 10 out of 10 for me so yeah coming to the next one which is also from this brand it's called jean paul gautier le beau um 
yeah. Also the uh, in order to let concentration. I remember that one to have a coconut vibe. Maybe I let's see. And I can also remember that I uh, that it has almost the same bottle as the Essence de Parfum version, which I really don't like at all. But I tended to like this one when I smelled it back then. Let's see how this one turns out right now. Yes, it smells like like a cocktail to me. Like, um, yeah, like a very syrupy, coconutty pina colada, maybe. It has nothing to do with Le Mal. It's also not called Le Mal, it's called Le Beau. So I think that's French for the, the, the handsome looking. Not sure if there's also a female version for this. Um, yeah, it's nice. It's just nothing I would buy, I think. It's just, um, it reminds me a lot of jo Job Om Wild, if you know this one. It's like a version of Job Om, but also has a coconutty vibe. Yeah, nice, definitely. Um, I would give it a 6 out of 10. But there are like fragrances that easily replace this one, in my opinion. But, nice one. Definitely also, I think, not too expensive. You can go for this one. How oh, okay, this one. Should I even spray it? Because I know it so well. But I think I will. Because I said I have four here. So, it is Invictus, the Eau de Toilette version by Paco Rabanne. Um, yeah, just a second. So, back again. Yeah. Um, okay, let's, let's do this too, to make this complete. All right. Wow. Oh. oh shit, I sprayed it on my fingers. So I'm gonna smell it the whole day anyways. By the way, say hi to SpongeBob. I have like this super big version of that guy and some other sweet animals over there. I used to love that seal. I still love it. Awesome. So, yeah, I mean, it's Paco Rabanne Invictus. Needless to say anything about this, it's like a super seller, a superstar in this in the in the freshy genre. Not my most favorite one. I really like the Eau de Parfum version of Invictus, which to my nose smells better and more high quality, even though there are people that say it smells the same. I cannot, um, I cannot sign this. Uh, and yeah, I wouldn't buy it anymore. To be honest, it's um, it's overdone in my nose to my nose. Yeah. So coming to the last one, ah, it's it for me. It is a four out of ten, maybe a three out of ten. Not want, don't want to bash this house, but it's just nothing for me anymore. So and the last one is Bulgari Man in Black. Come on, Eau de Parfum. I thought it's also Eau de Toilette. Oh wow. Yeah. This one is very close to Spice Bomb in my, uh, if I remember it correctly. Yeah. I would say it's almost the same. Victor and Rolf Spice Bomb, I think you know it. It's um, about the same price category, I think. But I think it has a better longevity than Man in Black, Eau de Toilette, Eau de Parfum, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, I like it. It's a very spicy one as Spice Bomb. <laughs> uh, um, very much cinnamon spices in a various um, amount. And there is also an alcoholic accord. I think it is um, a rum-based fragrance. Yeah, definitely more. It's um. Yeah, I mean it. It definitely smells sexy, no question. Uh, but it's just a. It's a very high dose of notes, so make sure you test it before you buy anything of that stuff. Yeah. 
this is a bit like a designer version of a Parfums de Mali fragrance to my nose. Um, for example, Herod or Carlisle or Abdan or maybe even a little bit of Ojan. Not saying that it smells like them, but it's like it comes across like a designer version of that one, of these ones. Yeah, smells good. Six or seven out of ten, I would say. So I hope you liked this video. It was like a short one. Later, I will make a video about Azaro, the most wanted, which I can say so much, at least, is a super cool fragrance. So, and uh, sorry for my messy hair. I don't know. It's like during Corona, I don't give a shit about how my hair looks. It's fucked up anyways. I have to go to the barber. But here we need a Corona test. Uh, which has to be made officially, not by yourself. And this is uh, like a huge, a huge off turn for me. And so I didn't go recently. So yeah, nevertheless, I hope you like this video and see you later.